We're about to make a lot of money, yay! Farming level 2, we now can make a mayonnaise machine. Foraging level 3, we can now make a cookout, we can make moss soup, and our axe is stronger. Fishing level 2, we can now make bait. So as you can see from the fishing, it's pretty good. You can basically get these fish and sell them for a whole lot. Largemouth bass is the most expensive, so you should probably look for those. Uh, the foraging, however, look at that shit. God damn. God damn. God damn. Of course, if you had multiple people, you could probably fish up a storm and get a whole bunch of things. Rainy day. Less work today. Let's see the fortune teller. Good luck. Good. What do you guys say? Stir fry. Learned how to make stir fry. What do you guys say? I'd like to apologize for joking around with the old Pappy Gold Kai. First, we made a really nice house. Uh, however, it might need a little bit more spice in a someday if you want that. If you can, I can help you and bring some raw materials and I'll pay the fee. I'll expand your house for you. I offer including a kitchen, which a kitchen will allow you to cook some recipes if you let you learned. Anyway, I hope that you can uh, feel free to start Valley. All that stuff. Uh, hey, Embernode. Dear Embernode, mm -hmm. dear sweetie, uh, missed you so much. Uh, left you here to farm life uh, cookies. If you are the, uh, if you are a girl, you will get 500 G, which is not as good as these cookies. Cookies means you can work harder, and that means you can make more money and stuff. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, Pokey, come to the old, 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 old house. Pokey, bring coins. Hat mouse. Fuck that shit. I ain't bringing you shit. Put away this shit. There you go. Sort. What do we got? A whole bunch of seeds that we can use. Um, I think because it's a rainy day, we should probably start working on some, uh, you know, farming things around the farm. We should probably clean up the place and start working on making some money. Hey. Because I want to do the mayonnaise machine. There we go. So how I like to chop down trees is I like to see if there's any saplings nearby. If I do see saplings near a tree, I will chop it down and let the sapling replace that tree. Now, this is a very smart method because what you can do is you can look at like the sapling itself. So that's clearly a pine tree. That means this pine tree produced it. Chop it down. Pick up all this shit. So this one hasn't produced anything. There's another tree right there that hasn't produced anything. Uh, this is an acorn. I'm just pick that up. There's another tree right here. And this one probably produced that one down there. So we chop it down. This one definitely produced a tree. Chop it down. Replenish, use, recycle. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking for trees along the way to chop down. So these pine trees have been doing a number down here. This was the main reason why my fo uh, whole farm got overgrown. Uh, because these pine trees produced all these seeds really crazy-like. And I wonder if they made it that way, because it's starting to feel like they did. It seems like pine trees produce the most amount of acorns out of the bunch. Because they just, just fucking produce, brother. They get all these seeds out here. It's like, god damn. So let's clean it up. There you go. Get as many of these as possible. Get the seeds, because as you can see, there's already four fucking pine trees here. So one of y'all got a little too busy. Fucking goddamn. Look at that shit, there's even more right here. Alright, you know those cookies? Eat them. 90 energy. Yep. Way better than 500G. Like, goddamn. Why would I want 500G when I can just fucking sell seeds? Like, goddamn, I can just sell wild seeds and get the same amount of money in a day versus fucking getting 500G. Like, goddamn, what a useless ass fucking prize. 
It's like, God damn. Just fucking do some farming, boy. Do some farming. That's all you gotta do. Like, I think that's so silly. Like, 500G is so useless. Like, just give me some fucking cookies. I need energy anyway. I need to clean up this goddamn farm so much. There you go. So we got 14 uh, pine cones. Let's pull out the scythe. Let's scythe this one baby sapling because it's in my way. Uh, if I don't do that, then that's going to like be a problem later on in the future. So all this is still kind of overgrown, but that's fine. We cleaned up most of it. All right, let's go foraging. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, that was a lot of progress today. We made a whole bunch of money. Hey. Okay, uh, so we already turned in the topaz, right? So that means we can just get rid of this shit. You can technically gift these to people, but topaz is kind of worthless, not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Some noise in the background. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, get these out, put that back in there. Look like we got plenty of stuff, but we don't have that much money. Yay. We need 4,000 if we want to get something specific. Uh, sadly, we have no more energy, so we have to sleep off. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. Barely any. That's fine. Day 11. Ah, oh, Vincent's birthday. Well, I fucked him up. He ain't getting shit from me. Uh, fortune teller today is neutral. Oh fuck! Well, this is gonna be a lot of watering. So there is a bookseller today. That person allows us to get some pretty epic books, and these books can be useful for many a thing. But for right now, let's do this. Get this out of my fucking way. Because these annoy me, and I don't like them in my way, and I need to water. So the green bean, we can turn that into the community center. That would be very helpful. Uh, because it is a neutral day, I might want to try to go mining. Yesterday was a, uh, a day full of uh, luck, but sadly I did not uh, utilize that. I kind of fucked myself by cleaning up the farm. Should have used that day for mining, but I did not. So rainy days, you should focus on mining. Uh, whenever it rains, focus on mining and fishing, but whenever it's not raining, uh, water your crops, and then after that, do what you uh, can. Why am I doing that? We have a full inventory, brother. <laughs> we, we got a whole bunch of inventory to work with. Uh, how are we gonna do this, man? We need more fucking shit. What do you want? Uh, I got some new items in stock, the deluxe fishing pole and some bait, if you can attach it. Uh, you can buy a bait and make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. I uh, lost my favorite axe. I need it ASAP. Robin. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's get our potato as well. So the bamboo pole, we no longer need it because we now have an upgrade that we can get. So let me sort this. We can just turn these into the community center. That's fine. I was thinking about getting the coop, but we can probably wait on the coop just a little bit. Because I kind of want to get that deluxe fishing rod. That thing helps a lot more than you think. Go all the way to the community center. Plus, like, the deluxe fishing rod can probably get us some better fish. Because what it does is it uses bait to catch fish. And certain types of bait is useful for catching certain types of fish. So let us go over to the main one over here. This will give us the green bean and the potato. Sadly, it's out of order. It's out of order. That's fine. 
Boom, boom. Boom. Now I just need the ten hardwood and that'll be done with. Uh, what else did we have? Nothing else. Cool. Let's go get that better fishing rod. Let's see if that actually helps us. I think it's going to be 5,000 actually, so we might not be able to get it. And if we can't get it, we should just focus on the, uh, the coop. Actually, we might not be able to get it because this fucking person's going to give us the book that I need. Let's see. Does it give us the book that I need or do I need more money? Yay. Might as well clean this all up because this will annoy me in the future if I come up here and I fucking see some debris in my way. Alright, what do you got? This guy sells books to you. This is new and he of course has what I need and of course is something I can do. God damn it. Books give you abilities. They can improve your research. They can improve your things. They can do all kinds of stuff. And as you can see, we can now tell what price our items are. Interesting. So all five of those is 250. This is 75, which is better than what it normally is, which is 60. So you can kind of tell what price things are if you want to sell it to try to get some money. So now we can't get the deluxe fishing rod, which is definitely going to be like fucking 3,000 or some shit. So let's go figure that out. Down. Over. So knowing the price of your items is better because you can actually compare prices and shit. You can figure out what is what, what price is this, what price is that by hovering over it. And I think you can hover over it in stores as well so you can figure out if you're getting the best price or not. But I can't remember. So I'm going to test it out down here. Give me that. Da 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 da. Fiberglass, 1800 So if you hover over it, it'll tell you the exact price. Damn it, no, that's the price of the thing. Damn it! I was going to see if I could like do some uh, math with this. So we got small mouth, bass, bait. I don't think that's supposed to be anything uh, particular that we need. So we need 1800 oh, We were so close. So close. Oh, you know what we can do? If we can find a couple more of the forageables, we might be able to get that thing. Maybe. You know what? Grab a chair, too. I think it's about time we do the thing. Hello, Penny. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about you. Honestly, I don't really socialize with any of the people uh, yet. There's a time and place to socialize, and it's better to socialize later than now. Like right now, it's better just to worry about their birthdays, give them something, and then move along. Because if you talk to people, you gain, uh, you know, social status with them. But otherwise, you know, you can just leave them alone. Who cares? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, put away the seeds. We can keep the cookies on us. Let us... What did I come up here for? Chair. That's what it was. A chair. This chair is the most broken item you can have in this game because it unlocks the most forageable area in the game. And since we have not touched that area in several days, it's going to be jam packed with forageables. Ah, oh, fuck. Ew, it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum, why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has to be a match for that rusty old key. What was that? There's something moving around in there. <sighs> I'll go check it out. Hello. Mm. 
It seems like there's something in the sewers. We should probably check that out someday when we get that rusty key from Gunther. Hello. Oh, I missed again. I think that counts as talking to them. Yeah. Go do way. I'm like, I tried to gift them an item and I fucking failed. That's so funny. Alright, let's go up here. Put down that chair. Die! 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 Ah, God. Forgeable. So this is a hidden forest. It will have forageables regardless, because the game expects you to be here at some point. So the game will put down forageables and stuff like that, but because you can't get in here without a certain type of upgrade, you're not supposed to be in here, thus the forageables are lost. But if you use a chair, you can jump over here and be able to find the forageables. So we got a whole bunch of horseradish. That wasn't the forageable I was looking for, but it's still a nice forageable. Go this way. Ah, that's the forageable I was looking for. Ooh, you dropped an amethyst. Thank you. Be respectful to your slimes. Always thank them for good items. Right, let's see. Uh, monster hunter. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. There you go. Two more slimes. Find Robin's axe. Build a coop. Meet two more people. Son of a bitch, I'm lazy. <laughs> That actually would have been bad if I wouldn't be able to grab that. <laughs> that would have been funny. I would have locked myself out by accident. That would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> I would just accept my fate. <laughs> Alright, let's go looking for that axe. Let's see. Axe, 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 axe. I don't think it's over here. I believe it's on the other side over this way. I know where it is. It's in this area, but it's over to the side, I believe. Uh-huh. Go this way. Let's see if we can find that some bitch. Oh, look at all this forageables. Very nice. Bingo. Robin's lost axe. We finally found it, so we can turn it in. You cannot use this axe, and you cannot utilize it, which is kind of silly, because I feel like it should be an item that you should be able to use for a bit, just to kind of play with it, you know? Like, that would have been cool. It would have been a different type of axe from your own, and maybe this axe could have been, like, more special or something, but no, you can't use it, which is kind of disappointing, but it's alright. Go over this way. Alright, what was I doing? Alright, sorry about that. I had to do some shit in the background to fucking ram here. Now somebody notified me, son of a bitch. Hey, we're back. Ah, oh, shut the fucking goddammit. Everything got to be fucking complicated when I'm trying to do stupid shit. Okay, so we have a very little amount of time left. Throw these away. Fucking let give this to Reuben. Robin need it. Goddamn. Going up. You know what's funny? I never really tried modded, but after saying Reuben, I just realized that there's probably some gender swap fucking mods. I never really do mods because mods seem kind of pointless to me. Like, why mod Stardew Valley? It's perfect the way it is. Adding some mods would just kind of taint the uh, perfection a little bit. It's like, goddamn, why do all that shit when you can just have what you got? Some X. There you go. Got 250. Nice. Gives us some power. Uh, still no fucking dandelions though. Goddamn. This game really doesn't like giving me dandelions. I do not know why. 
Let us go down a little bit into the mines. We have a little bit of energy. Might as well get some mining in. I love the music in this game. It's very peaceful. Alright, let's go down a mine. It is a neutral day, I believe, so that means that we ain't gonna get anything special. Uh, go this way. to sleep on so we got a new level up for mining well fucking we got so many staircases are you sure it's a neutral day it feels kind of like a little bit more of an amped day i don't know i feel pretty amped up we got a glow ring those are fucking rare Glow rings allow you to glow in the dark a little bit. You can actually get a better type of ring than this, but it is going to be a little later down the line. But this ring is very good because it allows you to see in the dark a little bit. So instead of being a little blind by darkness, you got a little bit of a, a advantage. There you go. Fuck that guy. Moles can be quite annoying, so it's best just to kill them and get them out of your way. Uh, killing multiple enemies does not give you the entrance way into the uh, guild, but it's still good to kill them anyway, because you might get uh, decent loot out of them. There you go, cherry bomb. Whee! the 25 minute mark I think some of it was sped up so I can't remember if I did speed up in this episode we'll figure it out when we're editing fucking goddamn bing alright can we get two slimes just randomly Got a rice shoot, that's okay. Rice suits are basically just extra uh, crops. They're not really that useful and they don't sell very good, but it's all good, you know, get some rice. Uh, that's it, really. There's nothing else here. Damn. I was kind of hoping to level up a little bit, but you know what? Here, let's do this. Go to floor five, see if we can find some slimes. Doesn't look like it. Let's go to floor 10, see if we can find some slimes. Five, see if we can find some slimes. 15, see if we can find some slimes. There we go. There we go, pause for a minute. Sorry, I heard some little background noises. I didn't know if somebody was like fucking coming down or not. So we got integrations. We can now go into the Adventurers Guild. Let's go do that. By doing this, you unlock more weapons. These weapons can range from really good to really bad. So we'll go over here. Uh, you can get a femur, you can get a wooden sword. As you can see, seven of these is just 56 uh, monies. So as you can tell, these are kind of shit. There we go. One sec. God damn. Anyway, uh, you know what? Sell this. Let's get the femur. It's a better weapon in general. So the femur, this is a club. So it swings like a club, hits like a club. It does a lot more damage, has a lot more speed, one fucking second again. So much fucking background noise, it's like shut up over from recording. <laughs> record. <laughs> like every time I try to record, I just fucking, I get background noise every single fucking time. It's so fucking annoying. I'm just trying to record, man. I'm trying to get footage. I'm trying to do that so I can make some money. Hey, IRL. Goddamn. <coughs> 
Speaking of money, you can donate to the Patreon and Kofi and all that stuff. If you feel like it, you don't have to at all. Uh, but anyway, I think we go nap nap and fucking next day and shit. Mm -hmm.